This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by 23andMe. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Ranger's Rants. I'm your host, John Ranger. This week, I want to rant about too many damn Samsung devices. I am staring at four different product lines that are really almost totally indistinguishable. I love Samsung phones, but enough with the variants. This is Ranger's Rants. Let's get ranting. <laughs> So before you Samsung fans get all angry and yelly at me, let me explain to you where I'm coming from. So today we unbox this guy, the Galaxy S4 Zoom, which exists in a world where this guy exists, the Galaxy Camera. Now tell me why we need two separate product lines for both of these. This is a big screen quad core device, the camera, it's Wi-Fi connected, LT in there, just not a phone. This is a smaller screen, super low resolution phone that also has a camera. Why are there two separate product lines? Why is this a Galaxy S4? Why is this one a Galaxy camera? Makes zero sense to me. Aside from that, why does the Galaxy Note exist in a world where the Galaxy Mega is its own separate line? Aside from that, there are two separate sizes of the Galaxy Mega. Why do we need two separate phone lines of giant phones? Why not just make it the Galaxy Note larger, the Galaxy Note 6.3? It's too confusing for consumers. We've got the Galaxy S4, we've got the Galaxy S4 Active, we've got the Galaxy S4 Mini, and aside from that, we have different variants of the Galaxy S4. There's gonna be different quad-core versions coming out. Snapdragon 600, Snapdragon 800. Aside from that, there's also the octa-core version of the Samsung Galaxy S4. You see where I'm going. There are too many damn products. You guys make awesome devices. Your hardware is incredible. The software is baller. Your screens are gorgeous. I love Samsung products, but there are way too many even for me to keep track of. How can a consumer out there who just wants a phone make sense of any of it. If you walk into an AT&T store, a carrier store, uh, whether it's you know T-Mobile, Verizon, whatever it might be, I can understand that. There are only a few products that they've got there. You say, okay, I want the Galaxy S4, they got it. If you're in AT&T, say you want the S4, the S4 Active. I understand actually the S4 Active, that makes sense to me. Can't see why maybe they wouldn't release a case that might make the rest of the Samsung Galaxy S4 sort of Active-esque, but I, I get it. I understand why that exists. There's a huge need for that product. No issue there at all. And I'm not even saying that I've got numbers with all these different devices. Why are they their own product lines? Tell me, give me a good reason why these are two separate product lines. I just, I don't understand it. There's a new Galaxy camera coming out. There's going to be a new Galaxy Zoom coming out. It's just, it's mind boggling to me that Samsung is doing this. There are new devices coming out. It seems like every 13 hours, there's a new Galaxy S4 variant. There's a new Samsung Galaxy, whatever it might be name coming out, whether it's Note, Mega, Camera. I'm not just saying this because I'm up and angry. I have people that come to me, friends, they're like, I want to get a new device. I really hear good things about Samsung, what should I get? And it's hard to tell them because there's so many different choices where they go and they're like, hey, I don't have that much money to spend, I want an S4, there's an S4 Mini, but there's also a Galaxy S3, do I want to upgrade to the Galaxy S4? Which variant of the Galaxy S4 do I want? Do I want the Snapdragon 600? Do I want to wait for the Snapdragon 800? Or should I order the octa-core version? You see what I'm saying? Too many devices, and yes, that was done in just one take, by the way. I'm the Micro Machines guy! It just seems like, why can't they combine all these lines? They can keep all the same products, but just make it fluid so people can say, okay, there's a big phone series, there's the Galaxy Note series, they come in different sizes, pick the one that's best for you. Do you want a better camera? Okay, there's a Galaxy camera line. Do you want one with a smaller screen that also has cell capabilities? Do you want one with a larger screen that just has Wi-Fi? No problem there at all. The Galaxy S4 straight line, do you want one that's got uh, waterproof capabilities? That makes sense. Do you want a smaller one? There's the Galaxy S4 Mini. I understand that. Tablets too. There's Galaxy Tab versions and there's all kinds of other different tablet variants that are coming out and will be coming out. Just too many product lines. Simplify it, Samsung. Make it easy for your consumers. Make it easy for us to tell people what to get so I can give you hard earned cash. So let me thank our friends and sponsors at 23andMe. You ever wondered what secrets your DNA might hold? You ever wanted just to see what the heck's going on inside of your body? Well, the folks at 23andMe have you covered. Based on a saliva analysis of over 1 million data points, the folks at 23andMe can get literally down to your DNA. Customers receive over 200 personalized reports that cover health risks, personal traits, career status for conditions that can be passed on to children and and much more. So if you don't have kids and you're worried about what you might have, 23andMe is going to be a really good way to go. So 23andMe first offered their personal genome service in November 2007 for $999 and provided only 14 reports. But today you can get over 200 reports for just $99. I understand it may sound really intimidating, but the folks at 23andMe made the process really simple and sort of took the worry out of the whole thing. First, you buy a DNA kit online, then you mail in your saliva sample, postage already included. After a few weeks, you receive over 200 health trait and ancestry reports. So check out 23andMe.com slash technobot. Buffalo. Again, check it out. It's 23andme.com slash Techno Buffalo. So we take one quick break from my crazy red face huffy rant to remind you about Techno Buffalo's Driven, the show we do on the tech feed where I talk about cars, get behind the wheels of cars and all kinds of other car goodness. This week, I count down my top five favorite cars you can buy now or you can order now. I want to hear what you guys have to say. I'm going to take a deep breath because I feel like I did this video in one giant exhale, but I really, really do want to know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. We most definitely appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video.